All right, you guys, so we're gonna start with an empty spray container, some setting spray, um, and I got that from Walmart. It was barely $3. Some highlighter, loose highlighter. This is the Anglola by the Crayon Case. Um, and I'm gonna use my Master Chrome by Maybelline. Now, the reason I chose these two is because I have so much of the Anglola and um, I really don't use the ma uh, Master Chrome that much. Okay, so the first thing I want to do is unscrew the top on the setting spray. Now, I could have done everything in the setting spray bottle, but I was being difficult, so I just switched them out so you guys can actually see the process. So I'm going to pour it all into that clear container um, just so you guys can see how the process goes and not me having to peel off the wrappers or anything. Um, so yes, I'm going to pour all of that in there and then I'm going to take my Anglola and I'm going to mix it in. Now I was so lazy, so that's why you guys see that red tail comb. I'm going to use the edge of the red tail comb to kind of lightly push uh, some of the highlighter into the bottom of the setting spray. Now, I really don't have an exact measurement of how much I use. I just knew I wanted a good bit of sparkle. And with the Anglola highlighter, if you guys know, it is a lot of um, powder in there. So I was like, okay, just let me just keep pouring in there. Now, because I'm only using the back of a red tail comb, it is getting a little messy, but bear with me. It's gonna work out fine. Um, but yes, yeah, so I'm just gonna continue to pour uh the highlighting powder into the bottom of it so basically how my mixture is it's going to be this color the master chrome is going to be in the middle and then i'm going to put anglola on top again so as you guys see i'm just pushing a little bit more in there so whatever was kind of already on the top part I, that's what i used um i didn't shake anymore i didn't do any more than that so yeah i'm just showing you guys how it looks so now I'm going to take the Master Chrome by Maybelline and I'm going to do the same thing. Now, as you can see, this is a pressed highlighter. So I'm gonna take the back of the rat tail comb and I'm gonna poke holes in it just so I can get um, the highlighter to a loose state like the other one was. So this will kind of mix in two different colors because as you can see, the Anglola is actually a lot uh, darker. And as you can see, I was being so careless and I wasted it and I'm going to do an instant replay. <laughs> I wasted it. I wasted like a good bit of it. So um, if you're going to do this, please be a lot more careful than I was. I really was trying to do this in less than five minutes. So I made a bit of a mess, but. Okay, you guys, so I'm just gonna screw the top on and shake it up and let you guys see how freaking pretty that is. And this is just a small container that I made. You can make it bigger. So I'm gonna give you guys a demo and let you see how it is. So two pumps and look, you can already see the glisten on my arm. And with the third, you can definitely see more. Look how much pigment that is um on my arm so yeah you guys this is a great summer diy and it will save you some coins i hope you guys enjoy bye